morning. Yeah, I made a video last night after having a bunch of cocktails and uh, smoking a doobie. And that, now I know why the person in the comments uh, thought I was a schizophrenic last week on one of my videos. <laughs> I, so I deleted it. Because, yeah, uh, I come off as a little uh, high-strung and schizophrenic. So I thought I'd uh, redeem myself for anybody who saw that and do a little history lesson. So here we go. I live in uh, Peoria, Illinois. The uh, Freemason capital of the world, right in the middle of America. And back in the early 1800s, Thomas Ford was born in Tennessee. He was a shoemaker. Um, and when his business dried up, he went into politics. Well, first he was a judiciary judge in, uh, in Peoria, Illinois. And uh, the Smith family were brought before him on a, a case of, I don't know, it might have been like larceny, bribery, something kind of to do with words that got this family in trouble. And uh, after Judge Ford at the time sentenced uh, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith put a curse on Governor Ford in the courtroom. And uh, this is how uh, I can come off as a little schizophrenic, but this is a true story. Like, I believe in curses that you can do on people because Governor Ford went on from being a judge to becoming a politician and being the governor of Peoria, Illinois. At the time, Peoria, Illinois was in a recession, depression, uh, as most places in the mid-1800s were. Well, Governor Ford brought in um, foreign investors into uh, Peoria and added money to the economy and jobs that still stand today in manufacturing. And it brought Peoria to be a very prominent place in America. Uh, and that's why they say, like, if it, will it play in Peoria? Peoria was like the industrial hub. And if they could get away with their little schemes and scams, uh, if it, they would try it out here in Peoria first. And uh, that's where the saying, will it play in Peoria, came from. Nobody's probably heard of that. It's kind of went out of fashion in the last 25 years or so. But anyway, back to the curse. So Governor Ford pulled us out, doing foreign investments, got Peoria, Illinois to be a hub, a center in America in manufacturing. Well, after the Smith family all died off, and went their own ways as poor farmers and um, basically peasants, Governor Ford came into a little bit of trouble. The curse was setting in. He lost his governorship in total disgrace. Uh, the Freemasons, I would call them at the time, ran him out of town. And Governor Ford died of an illness um, and was left a pauper himself. Exactly how the Smith family were left from the judgment of Governor Ford. Governor Ford died with $146 in his pocket, a governor of Illinois, and was buried in a pauper's grave. Well, 50 years later, Peoria, Illinois, I call them the Freemasons, whoever's in charge around here, which it is the Freemasons, I could show you a thousand tombstones with their insignia on them here. Well, they erected this giant monument for Governor, Governor Ford, the pauper, who died with $146 in his pocket. And this is where Governor Ford lays today. But yeah, curses are real. And I'm not schizophrenic because Governor Ford here died in a pauper's grave.
and it took the state of Illinois or the, the Freemasons of Illinois to erect him this giant monument so people would never forget him. But he died a cursed man. And uh, I just thought that was an interesting story, kind of spooky, early Halloween story. And uh, if I come off a little schizophrenic, it's just because I get wound up and my mind actually works. I'm not a robot. So I come off a little manic -y. But for the most part, I'm a pretty chill dude. But yeah, I thought uh, I would just make a video about Governor Ford and his curse. Peace.